What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you 10 low and no content book niches that you should go and research. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I am going to share with you 10 different types of books, low content books, no content books that you should go and research. Now, all of these books that I am about to mention, I have spoken about numerous times. Now, why have I spoken about them quite a lot? Well, just because the amount of niches that are in them. So all the book types, the niches which I'm about to share, there's literally thousands and thousands of niches. What you need to do is dive deeper to find those niches and then start publishing books. Now the first one, <coughs> which I have mentioned, excuse me, is a notebook. Now I've put notebook or funny notebook because if I just type in notebook, it pulls up a bunch of computers. But within the notebook niche, there is literally thousands and thousands of niches. Now, one thing I do want to note really quick though, is that the easier it is to create a book, the more competition that there's going to be. So let me say that again, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition that there's going to be. How hard is it to create a notebook? Well, it's relatively easy. You can get the interior for free, and then all you have to do is create a niche specific cover. So relatively easy. But even though it's easy, there's literally thousands and thousands of niches just for notebooks. Now, how do we find these niches? Well, it's rel relatively Simple, that's weird, why is all that up there? So it's relatively simple, we can use Google. Google and lists, lists of animals, lists of sports, lists of hobbies, lists of food, the lists go on and on. There's so many different types of lists that we can utilize and see if there's demand for notebooks and many other types of books for instance. Now, let's type in here, list of and we can check out hobbies, animals, pets, sports, foods, um, jobs. Jobs are a big one as well. So teachers, things like this. But let's do list of animals because there's literally thousands and thousands of animals. Now, now that I've typed this into Google, what we can do is start going through all of the websites, start looking at all of the animals. So right off the bat, we have a bunch just here. Dinosaur, insects, vertebrae, reptiles. Dinosaurs are a big one. So let's just go over to here, take away funny, and let's type in dinosaur. So right now, we have a lot of different keywords where we can dive deeper to see if they're profitable and to see if it's worth time actually creating that book. But right off the bat, in a notebook, we have a dinosaur notebook niche and we can do it for kids, girls, boys, for school, cute dinosaur notebook. So these are all keywords that we could target for a dinosaur notebook and dinosaur is literally one of thousands of niches that we can use for notebooks and it's going to be the same for the second type of book which I'm about to share and that second type of book is a journal journals 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 and notebooks have pretty much the same niches so we can do lots of research over on Google using lists of animals sports food jobs and things like this we find the lists we find all these niches and then we can use Amazon to see if there's demand. But notebooks and journals are very interchangeable, but there's thousands and thousands of niches. Now think of it like this. We have the niche, which is journal. We can do what type of niche that is within the journal niche. So let's take away the S. We could do a pretty, pretty kind of a, kind of a niche, but here we go. Now we have pretty journal. But who's it going to be for? More than likely a woman for women. So now we have the book type, the niche, and who's it for? And we can do this in mostly any niche. So right off the bat, we can actually see that people are looking for pretty journals for women. But we could change that out. We could change that to a sloth. 
Sloth Journal for Women is auto-populated. So remember, when Amazon auto-populates a keyword, it means that people are actually searching this on Amazon. So we can see Sloth Journal for Women, people are actually searching for this. Now we can change this out and do Pineapple. Pineapple Journal for Women. A few more extra keywords, but you get the idea. This can be worked or work with notebooks and journals and a few other types of books as well. Always remember the book type right here what the niche is, and then who's it for. Doing it this way, you can target your books an unlimited amount of ways. So remember that as well. But that's the second one. First one, notebooks. Second one, journals. Third one being composition notebooks. Now it's the same for composition notebooks. There's literally thousands and thousands of niches. Now niches that work well for composition notebooks are animals. So if we go here, we could go through a whole list of animals. So we could go back over to Google, type in the list of animals, go through all of these. We could scroll down, go to these websites, A to Z animal list with pictures. We could go through there, find these animals, go back over to Amazon, type them in and see if there's demand. Again, there's literally thousands and thousands of niches for composition notebooks. Now I have done videos on composition notebooks in the past. If you want to go ahead and watch them, I'll link them right there right now in the right hand corner. But composition notebooks brings me to my second, no, my fourth niche, and that is primary composition notebooks. Now when it comes to primary composition notebooks, they're completely different to composition notebooks. Normal composition notebooks are meant for older kids and adults. Primary composition notebooks are meant for kids in primary. So within that notebook, there's going to be space to practice your writing and there's going to be a space to draw as well. But primary composition notebooks and composition notebooks have just as many niches in them as journals and notebooks. So once you found your niches for notebooks and journals, you can use them to see if there's demand for composition notebooks and also primary composition notebooks as well. Now again, like I said at the beginning, these niches aren't anything new. There's I've spoken about all of these niches in the past, but I'm talking about them because there's literally thousands and thousands of niches and not many people really realize that. But that's the fourth one, primary composition notebooks. There's going to be literally thousands. Now, the fifth one is dot grid notebooks or a dot grid journal now believe it or not there's quite a few niches within this niche not as many as notebooks and composition notebooks but there's still niches nonetheless now if we do this in the little search bar that didn't work quite well so if we look here in the search bar go like that we can get an idea for other keywords again look at this so floral so a dot grid notebook with floral cover and if we look just here, dot grid notebooks for women. So we could combine flowers with women in the dot grid niche. So let's take a look, see if that's something. So flower, dot grid notebooks for women. See, look at that, dot grid notebook flower for women. People are actually searching for this. So always remember the niche, the book type, and then who's it for? That way you can find so many different types of keywords, but dot grids are perfect for KDP. I have a few myself. I don't sell loads of them because I don't really have that many, but nonetheless, they do sell. Now a dot grid notebook is the same as a bullet journal. Only difference is a bullet journal is trademarked, so you really do not want to use that. If you want to create these, always use a dot grid notebook or a dot grid journal. Never ever use the term bullet journal because that is trademarked. But that's the fifth, dot grid journals. Now with any of these niches that I'm sharing with you, again, there's no secret to these niches because I've spoken about all of these in the past, but the secret is to always niche down. So most people are just going to try and create a dot grid notebook and then wonder why they don't make sales. But then I'm going to create a floral dot grid notebook for women. So very niche specific, and that's how you niche down. But that's the, no, that was the fifth. The sixth is 
logbooks. Now, with logbooks, logbook niches are absolutely everywhere. We can even just look at this in the search bar. So if we take away the S, so it just says logbook, we have for truckers, for business, for work, for money, for passwords, for office, blood pressure logbook, daily logbook, timesheet, maintenance, vitals. You can see there's just so many different types of logbooks. If you can think of not think, sorry. I mean, if you spend a good few hours really diving deep into logbooks, you're going to come across some really great ideas. Look, medication, planner, time record, checklist, sales tracker. So a logbook and sales tracker. Just here alone, there's so, so many great niches. But again, it all comes down to research. Research, research, research. That's what not many people want to do. And then they watch videos like this to try and find the hot niches. But those hot niches aren't really that hot when thousands of people try and publish books. So it's always the best idea to do your own research. Now that's the six. That being a logbook. Again, logbook niches are absolutely everywhere. Now the seventh, if we go back to here, that was the wrong one. In fact, I almost forgot, when it comes to logbooks, I have done videos about this in the past. I did a video on how to find logbook niches. So in fact, I'm going to link that right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. But that was the sixth, that being logbooks. The seventh, let's go over to here. The seventh being sketchbooks. Sketchbooks are an awesome type of book to be publishing. Again, there's so many different types of niches, but with sketchbooks, there's not going to be as many niches as logbooks, um, notebooks, composition notebooks, and things like that. It all comes down to diving deeper. We can do that just by using the search bar and this Chrome extension. This Chrome extension pulls up all the keywords before, after, and everything related to said keyword. This is AMS Suggestion Expander, and it's a free Chrome extension, one of the best out there. But right off the bat, just by using this, we can see for kids, for girls, hardcover. So now we have that option of hardcover books in KDP, sketchbooks could possibly be one of those books. So you might want to go and check that out. But sketchbooks are an awesome type of book to be creating. Why is that? Well, they're relatively easy. Most of these are practically blank. So you don't even really have to design much apart from the cover. But that's the seventh, sketchbooks. Then we have the eighth, being planners. Planners being a huge, huge industry. I even believe that planners are a billion dollar industry. Even notebooks, notebooks and journals alone are a billion dollar industry and people don't realize that. They always say, oh, notebooks are dying out. Well, no, not really, are they? People are always going to use notebooks and journals and things like that. So how the hell can they actually die out? Doesn't really make sense, does it? Anyway, planners, there's so many niches here as well. If we just do this, a planner, we can see the different types. So we have a work planner, high performance planner, business planner, small planner. Then we have for men, women, school, work, mums. So again, we can combine keywords to find niches. So remember, what type of niche is it? Or what type of book type? Well, it's a planner. So what type? Let's do a floral floral planner. But then who's it for? Well, we could do for mums. Okay, a floral planner for mum. No one's actually searching for this because look, it hasn't auto-populated. So that's what I mean when I say Amazon auto-populates keywords which people are searching for. If no one's searching for that long tail keyword, Amazon is not going to auto-populate it. So right here we can see a floral planner for mum no one's actually looking for that. Let's take away mum and let's do woman. Floral planner for woman or women. Let's do women. People are actually searching for this. We can see that because Amazon's auto populating this. Now we can change the floral out and let's do a daily. Daily planner for women. We can see people are searching for this. So always remember the book type right here. 
the niche. Daily isn't really a niche, but you get the idea. And then who's it for? Remember, this way, you're just going to find so many different types of ideas. But that's the eighth, and that is planners. Again, thousands and thousands of niches within the planner niche. Now, if you stick around to the end of the video, I am going to show you just a really quick way of actually finding a bunch of different niches. Now, let's go on to the eighth one because that's coloring books. Coloring books is something that I've actually been producing recently. Not loads of them because you can't really create as many coloring books as you can notebooks. Remember, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition that there's going to be. How hard is it to create a coloring book? Relatively easy. How hard is it to create a good quality colouring book? Well, it's a lot harder, and because of that, there's going to be a lot less competition, because most people don't want to put in the work. But with colouring books, this is going to be the same as composition notebooks, notebooks, journals, and things like that. There's literally thousands and thousands of niches when it comes to colouring books, and we can find all those niches again by using lists of lists of animals, lists of pets, lists of food, lists of jobs, things like this. So if we go back over to the coloring books, remember we have the niche or the book type. That's a coloring book. So who do we want to create a coloring book for? Well, we could do for toddlers. Why toddlers? Well, those books are relatively easy to create. A toddler coloring book is a really simple book. But again, there's thousands of niches. Now right here we can see we've got colouring books for toddlers. And right off the bat, here's a bunch of keywords. Toddlers, one to two, one to three, two years old, three to five. Then we have Halloween. And then we don't have very many others. So right now I'd go back to the beginning and now I'd start using a list, a list which we find over in Google. Again, we can go through all of these different websites to pull up those lists for animals, sports, foods, and anything. Literally, when it comes to, again, there's just literally thousands of niches. I think let's do a type of animal. Let's do a rat. Rat coloring book for toddlers. No one's searching for that. If we take away the toddlers, we can see rat colouring book for kids. So we could do a rat colouring book for kids. Remember the book type? Colouring book. The niche? Rat. And who's it for? It's for kids. So if you remember this type of strategy, you're going to find so many different types of niches. Again, we can take out the kids. Let's do women. Let's take away rat. And let's just simple like a dog. Look at this. So dog coloring book for women isn't really getting searched, but an adult dog coloring book for women is. Again, it's all about niching down. If I were to create just a coloring book for women, you're going to have a hard time trying to sell that. But if I create a dog coloring book for women or an adult coloring book for women, then it's going to be a lot easier because that's what people are searching for. Remember to always create your books around what people are searching for. If we take away the dog and we just have an adult coloring book for women, we can get lots of different ideas. Simple adult coloring books for women. So if I created a real simple coloring book aimed at women using this keyword, do you think that I would make sales? More than likely because it's really, really niche down. Remember, any type of book that you want to create, you want to niche down. But that's it. That's the ninth, I believe. And that is colouring books. Again, there's just so many different types of niches. Now, the last, the tenth and final one is, I think this is going to be funny. No, I thought it was going to play up a little bit then. But the last one is activity books. Now, this is a big niche as well. Now, me personally, I don't really have that very many activity books because I don't really enjoy creating them. Top tip, create books that you create. And if you do that, you're going to have a lot more fun. I don't really have that much fun creating activity books, so I don't really create them. I have fun creating notebooks, journals, composition notebooks, primary composition notebooks, coloring books. I have fun creating those types of books. So because I have fun, it's not like I'm actually working. So activity books, this is another one. Now, if you want to get more ideas on niches for books, 
then all you have to do is literally go through the first page. We can go through the first page, we can go to their author centrals just here, look through all of their books and find more niches. Remember, niches are absolutely everywhere. But activity books, again, there's thousands of niches. Let's do activity book four. Now, if we put kids, we got lots of different ideas here. Christian activity book for kids, sports activity book for kids. So again, we have that book type. What is it? Activity book. Who's it for? Kids. What's the niche? Let's do a basketball activity book for kids. We can see people are searching this. Okay, so maybe we don't want to do basketball. Maybe we want to do soccer. Soccer activity book. Look at this. I say soccer, that's mainly an American term. Here in the UK, we would just call that football. So, football activity book for kids. We can see people are actually searching for this. So, if there's one thing you take away from this video, is that niches are everywhere. And to find those niches, you always want to use your book type, and then who's it for, and the niche that it's in. Remember, all this is interchangeable. So I could just keep activity book and then we can do for kids and we can change that to age brackets. So we can do one to nine or one to four, four to eight, eight to 12 and things like that. But then once we've done that, let's put that back to kids. We can change the niche out to anything that you want. A sloth, we could do sloth activity book. People are searching for that. Look, sloth activity book for kids ages four to eight. Very, very specific. And again, this is what someone's searching. And when you create books around what people are searching for, you're going to have a better chance of creating books or selling books, should I say. But that's all the niches that I want to share with you. I have put these niches down in the description below so you can go down read them and then start doing more research because remember in all of these different book types which I just shared there's literally thousands and thousands of niches and if you use this um, keyword structure then you can come up with an unlimited amount of ideas again remember we want the book type so this could be notebook journal activity book coloring book planner any type of book we want that here and then we want to know who's it for so we can do kids toddlers women men boys girls and then we can also change out the actual niche so this could be anything related to animals food sports anything 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 literally anything is a niche but using this structure you're going to make no, you're going to find so many more keywords. So give it a go. Come and check out all of these different book types again because there's thousands of niches and because there's thousands of niches, there's plenty of room for everyone. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy. This has been Stacking Profit and... I'll see you again soon.